dear friends and uh, lovers of truth greetings to all members of the churches of christ in the world and lovers of truth i am abanda edwin the minister of the church of christ in cameroon dear brothers and sisters we are crying and we are in the wilderness and in this wilderness god has provided oasis for us that if we enhance them they will keep us alive and the work of god strong in the world truth is like a goal given to a person and until you discover the importance of the goal and use it adequately you may have a goal and yet it does not benefit anybody My cry continue on the issue of the TV station. We need this TV station. And this TV station, we all have to come on board and support it and see this dream come true. As, an, as a minister, an evangelist, as a man of God, it is my cry that people should be saved. Not just where I am, but in the entire world. How can we do this? We have been using other avenues to preach, sending missionaries in the world, loading tracts and books. We have used this system for so many years. Yes, it has been given some positive result, but we need to add to this. And it is for us to have a TV station, a satellite TV station, not this website or live streaming on Facebook. It is now time for us to have a satellite TV station that will be broadcasting 24 on 7. You have been moving house to house, but how many people do you meet per day? Two or three people, and that's all. And we are ha having billions of people in the world that are dying day by day in their sin and in their ignorance because they haven't gotten the truth. Those who understood the power of the media, they have invested and they are deviating so many people today. We can do it. It is not above us. We have the resources. We only need to come together and put these resources adequately and let the will of the Lord be done to the people of the earth. And let glory be given unto God. It is time for us to do so. Are you not seeing how the world is investing in the media? Are you not seeing how denominations are investing? What about us? For how long will we be in this coma? For how long will we be in isolation? How can we have truth instead of exposing it? Yet we have the truth and yet we are not making adequate use of it by disseminating this truth to the people of the world. We need a TV station. It remains my cry and it remains, my, it remains the cry of so many preachers and Christians and we can do it. Yes, we can do it to the glory of God. Yes, we can do it to the saving of the souls of people. All the people in all the continents of the world. It is therefore time for us to rise up now. And let's save the decaying world. Let's save the world. We need this TV station because like here in Africa, Many people watch TV a lot. Statistics prove that people don't longer have time to read books. But they have a lot of time to watch TV. Almost in every community, somebody is having a satellite dish in his house. And why not cable distributors are there? And you hardly go to a home today, you don't have a TV station. So people watch and who knows, people will ponder on a TV station that is belonging to the Church of Christ. And with this truth that we have, that is so persuasive and convincing, people will be able to watch what must I do to be saved with images. How to set up a New Testament church in your, in your community, in your home, with images, with direction. All these things will help the people to know the truth. And to be able to execute the truth in their community. Even without a missionary in, in that environment. Even without somebody going there. They can do it and will get direct. We will get uh, 
contacts on how they can get to somebody who can help them in their environment. Dear brothers and sisters, let us rise up now. Let us rise up now and let the will of the Lord be done. We cannot remain like this forever. It is time and we can do it. I trust in God and I believe in what the Lord has given us. If we properly come together coordinatively and we do this to the glory of God, I'm telling you, many will be saved and the, the, our cry in producing all these tracts and books, they are going to enhance what we already be doing through the TV station. Many of us preach in other people's radio. 30 minutes, one hour, we spend a huge amount of money. Why can't we have our own? We can use Skype for people to communicate in many places of the world through it. Evangelists in other parts of the world will be communicating the gospel, passing out the gospel through Skype and many other technological uh, means that has been given to us by God to enhance the preaching of the gospel. Let's rise now. I remain your brother in Christ, Abanda Edwi. And it is now time. Let us rise. And let's do something for the Lord. God bless you.